Far beyond Earth's comfortable blue skies, hidden beneath layers of ice and gas, lie some of the most tantalizing clues in the search for extraterrestrial life. Not on distant stars, but right within our own solar system. Scientists have long believed that a handful of mysterious moons orbiting the gas giants might harbor the right conditions for life. These are not the warm, sunlit worlds of science fiction, but cold, remote, and eerie places where life, if it exists, would have adapted to extremes unlike anything found on Earth. Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons, is encased in a thick shell of ice. But beneath that frozen crust lies a global ocean, larger than all of Earth's combined. Cracks on its surface hint at tidal flexing from Jupiter's gravity, warming the interior and possibly fueling hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. If Earth's oceanic vents teem with life without sunlight, could Europa's do the same? The potential has scientists intrigued, and NASA's Europa Clipper mission is set to launch soon, aiming to probe that icy shell and detect any hints of life-supporting chemistry. Then there's Titan, Saturn's largest moon and perhaps the strangest of all. Instead of water, Titan's lakes and rivers are filled with liquid methane and ethane, forming a truly alien landscape. Its thick atmosphere is rich in nitrogen and organic compounds, building blocks of life. Although Titan is frigid and its surface chemistry vastly different from Earth's, some researchers believe exotic life forms could evolve in such an environment, using methane the way Earth's life uses water. NASA's Dragonfly mission, a rotorcraft lander, is expected to touch down on Titan in the 2030s to study its chemistry and possibly uncover signs of life. Enceladus, a small icy moon also orbiting Saturn, adds even more excitement. In 2005, the Cassini spacecraft flew through plumes erupting from Enceladus's south pole, geysers of salty water, organic molecules, and even hydrogen. These are telltale signs of an ocean beneath its ice and a source of energy that could sustain microbial life. Future missions aim to fly through those plumes again, possibly even collecting and analyzing the samples directly. Each of these moons tells a different story, but together they whisper the same question. What if we are not alone? and the answer lies just a few planetary orbits away. 